Welcome back to Streamline Entertainment. This video is going to be about the uh, Maruba uh, who the boat was spotted um, spotted around which about the time Jay went um, missing and was coming doing some really strange maneuvers uh, in the water. I got some information uh, the other day and it's for someone who is deeply invested in this case and wants justice and I'm just going to say thank you Ali for all the information uh, so she goes on to say uh, this morning we are in shock um, from what was the first part of the port on this case from Morocco we needed to sleep on it as it opened up a completely new can of worms. It will put the first part on here and maybe you would read it and then let us have your feedback before we do more. We are still awaiting the autopsy report of the body of a young white male found in the OUM uh, -E IBI River on the 18th 19th of June. 2024 and reported by MW News and uh, Fez Media. We'll just pinpoint it here. The Maruba MMSI, I'm not a boat expert guys, but I think this is the model. Uh, 22461440 and codes uh, to trips to North America back via. Le Gomra and Los Palma and Las Palmas and Lanzarote. Uh, details, details of these we are still awaiting, but one is not uh, navigationable, and others, other transportation was used. We have the port, both past and present, used plus where the Maruba is now. Wow! In description listed under a vessel characteristics seven. Uh, CA31294 white red ATTS and AIS 13 different descriptive elements including usage taxi for Slater that is a shock that was first booked 61 days ago and before that we are withholding that date until um, uh, confirmation on the autopsy that's very very odd very very odd very odd um, information there you know I'm just wondering whether the boat was also ordered to move Jay and then it was dumped at a later time because this Maruva boat uh, it hasn't had a lot of movement recently so people's been saying uh, the Maruba boat, Chris Hughes, uh, Vessel Finder, which is a subscription of tracking systems on waterborne craft throughout the world and will give accurate positions of craft, primary for safety and to check on fishing cargo vessels. We use Dorin uh, Petitrisso, which is, I've spell it out, it is P E T R I S O R. Uh, Patricia photographer well documented ID on vessels the Maru Maruba was sailing under the Belgium flag however it is now using dual sail Wow ID also now under a Spanish flag it seems to swap ID depending on the cargo Wow that's unbelievable so knowledgeable Wow um, it does make me think that there's something odd going on um, with this um, Maruba. Is it using, you know, false identity, whatever it's moving? The Maruba is hired out to Syndicate of the Canaries and more recently to Blue Water Dive in Maruba. Early means dead. Wow. Various categories of cargo are in the history of this boat. We are not putting up all the listings here as... At listings here as readily available via vessel finders AAS we'd appreciate your feedback on this as sensitive um, its nature many thanks sincerely 
So that was a private message uh, from someone who's dedicated. Maruba early means dead. Blue water diving. But it's odd. It changes um, its ID and sometimes runs on the Spanish flag. There's something not quite right there. So people who believe a boat was involved. I was a bit sceptical earlier on and people probably remember that. But I'm not so sure now. Uh, but, you know, thanks, uh, Ali, for your inspiration and time and, uh, you know, knuckling down into this case. And, you know, there's obviously a lot of people still invested in it, in what happened to Jay Slater. So we are now going to go... ...into what we were live about tonight. So I was live... Excuse me, into a video, was Jay Slater taken by boat? And this was some information quite some time ago, but it, it is interesting in information by uh, Tessa Gossip Page. Today, and a guy came in um, called Norb and said that he had some new information. This is from his video, so please go and give him a follow. He said that a boat called the Maruba actually left a point close to where Jay's phone would last ping at about 7 10 on the morning Jay disappeared. Wow. 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 7.10. And that was... That's odd. That's odd. Because, like I said, the video of the guy who was talking about um, Tenerife had turned around and said that it's hard for someone to actually go um, missing. And so this Maruba boat, I'm just wondering whether it was quickly hired uh, due to connections and his body was, was was moved and then put back there at a later time which many people think now that boat would then head into the ocean and then make some weird motions in the ocean which sounds weird before the transponder or transmitter turned itself off or someone turned it off so after that point at around 8 30 on the morning jay disappeared the boat stopped showing any signal of where it was in the ocean now we were really like, we were live about this and we were like, oh my God, that's really good information. We need to do some more searches. So we began looking up vessel logs, et cetera, et cetera, and kind of trying to track that boat. Now, Guys, just to confirm that this um, video is quite old. It's like um, uh, over four weeks old, um, the information. But sometimes it's actually good to go back and listen to what um, people have to say. I'm actually wondering now, was Jay's body um, thrown into the water and that uh, this is um, uh, basically thrown into the water um, where he, he might have been stabbed and they were um, you know the obviously the people on the boat the mafia were maybe had lost him in the water or thrown into the water and was told to find um, the body in that water that's a possibility why it could have been circling now what is really really kept scary is when you track that boat the last time that boat ever gave a signal was at 8 56 on the morning jay disappeared and since then the boat has not been sending out any signals or radars so when we were live about this people started posting it on facebook groups somehow someone phoned the authorities while i was still live and before we knew it actually we could see the boat where it last was on the maps and above it was a search helicopter. Now at some point the helicopter headed back to land and back into Tenerife and then the boat followed and around 1.51 a.m. the boat arrived at San Juan, that search boat. Now it is a possibility that when the helicopter was out at sea it has spotted something floating in the ocean and has then called the search boat out to retrieve whatever it was. It could also be a false alarm. They could be going out to look at the last place. Makes the you boat, wonder. The Maruba. It makes you wonder whether his body was um, basically thrown uh, into the sea and then a change of plan where the Maruba actually boat came in and they've had to sort of obviously um, get him out and change the context of the story. That's a possibility. That's really strange. Why would a boat, if you've got obviously someone on board of you, you know, kidnapped or um, there's a, a body on there, why would you just go off? Why was it circling as though it was looking for something? 
that lost signal on the morning Jay disappeared, if it was still there or they could see any sight of it. Has this boat drowned? Um, has it, sorry, it's late, not drowned. Is it like a shipwreck? Has it gone underneath the water? Has something happened there? Is it just offline and it's moved out of the area? Mm, it's odd. We don't know, but this is a really good lead considering nothing else is coming in. Now the police, if they have found something or just cannot find that boat, they need to track who was on that boat, who had access to that boat, and why that boat was leaving the area a missing person went missing from at around the same time that person was never heard from again. Now, if this is the case and this boat theory is true, somebody on land took Jay's phone to that area where the last calls were made. Now, when the live location was gathered at 8.21 that morning, Lucy was writing it to where Jay's phone was. So did Lucy stay behind on land and somebody else, some unknown person actually took Jay's phone further down the track into the hiking path wherever it went and then made contact with Lucy have we been well don't forget we saw um, a car stop and a lot of people were saying uh, uh, to go into the Masker Mountains and hide a phone or um, someone uh, basically coming out there were two parts of this you know someone going in and hiding a phone and someone being picked up um, in a car, rushed into a car, and the car spread if it, it was a white car. Um, so it was odd. Uh, but like I said, it's, what happened here was very, 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 very um, sinister and carefully planned. It had to be. I think looking at this now and reading some of the report on the uh, Maruba, uh, my friend Ali had said something strange, very, very strange has happened. I think that boat is definitely, the Maruba is definitely dodgy, whoever owns it, especially if it can be rented. Been led to believe that call was Jay this whole time, when in fact it was just Jay's phone. I think it's really imperative that people understand in this case that Jay and his phone are two separate entities. Just because Jay's phone is pinging from somewhere doesn't mean it's Jay. And if this is the case, the Airbnb definitely features into it. We know pictures with I don't know about that. There to try and make us believe that Jay was at that place. However, the person in that picture had very much different um, footwear to Jay. They weren't white trainers, they looked like black boots. It was almost like those pictures were taken to prove Jay was somewhere else other than where he was. It's believed he sent those Snapchat images of the car and also of the blanket with the shoes to his mum. Who sends pictures like that? holiday pictures back to their mum of shoes and a blanket yeah we knew he was well the ones that are really invested in this place um either like i said his body was there um for a little while until they knew what to actually do with it um there's a possibility it wasn't there very long or used um uh uh, uh to keep him there for a little while or they there's a possibility, I think, that at least six, seven people were back at the Airbnb. And I reckon it was just to concoct a story um, because they knew, obviously, the police and the family are going to be, and the public are going to be all over this um, as well. So the theory now of the boat, I think, is as strong as... Uh, than it has ever been before, especially over the last couple of weeks. Unless it's just somebody had to use his phone to prove he was somewhere he wasn't. Great video, absolutely great video by um, Comic Crime. Um, done a lot of videos on the Jay Slater cra uh, case on TikTok. Uh, the Maruba, definitely the information we've got from Ali and um, it's been offline for, 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 for quite some time. I think that's um, hiding um, a lot, a lot of secrets 
and I think there's a high possibility it was definitely, definitely um, something to do with the dis disappearance of Jay. And the phone, people, you know, the narrative the national news were actually saying is, is that he was definitely there, but his phone was there uh, at the end of the day. So people actually think because his phone was there, he was there, but I don't think he was. I think what happened to Jay happened a lot earlier, uh, but they had to, uh, people that were involved uh, in his murder had to cover it up so they are never caught and they think they've got away uh, with a lot and like I said in my earlier videos they will continue to do that to the next person uh, but like I said um, they should be stopped in their tracks don't forget to subscribe to Streamline Entertainment and follow the channel and thank you sorry about the reception guys um, it wasn't brilliant um, where I am uh, in the hotel at this time for some reason but uh, do subscribe to the channel and I will check your messages out when I can thank you take care wherever you are in the world